Hi, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you again. Today I'm going to read I Can Do Hard Things. It's by Gabby Garcia and illustrated by Charity Russell. But before I start reading, I'm going to tell you the joke so you can think about it while I read the story. My joke or riddle is, why can't Cinderella play soccer? Think about it. I Can Do Hard Things by Gabby Garcia. I don't always feel brave, confident, or strong. Sometimes it se seems easier to follow others along. I get so many messages about how I should be pulled in different directions. I feel wobbly. When this happens, I listen for that quiet voice inside. When I pay attention, that voice is my guide. Do you notice anything with the words? Yep, they're rhyming. I connect with the love and strength it brings. It helps me remember I can do hard things. I can be a friend to myself. I can feel all my feelings. I can ask for help. I can try again rather than give up. I can believe in myself. I can speak up when it would be easier to stay quiet. I can say no, even to my friends. I can apologize. I can forgive. I can listen to understand different points of view. I can care for my community. I can choose kindness. I can practice peace. I can share my gifts with the world. I can be myself. Hard things can be about what we think, feel, say, or do. What's hard for me may not be hard for you. You are you and I am me. We all walk through the world differently. Trusting my voice helps me find my way. I grow braver and stronger every day. The tough stuff I face is all my own. But I can also remember I'm not alone. I'm ready for the hard things I have to do. And please remember, so are you. I chose to read this book today because you know what? Right now, we're facing some hard things. We can't be in school and that's really hard for me. I miss you all so very much. But I know you're all amazing and you can do hard things and we'll see each other again soon. Hi boys and girls, you ready for our science experiment today? The question is, how does static electricity work? For this experiment, you're going to need a balloon and some salt. Balloon, salt. I've blown up my balloon and I've sprinkled some salt on a plate. I just sprinkle it on a plate so I can have it right in front of me. Now, when I rub the balloon, maybe on my hair or my shirt, I'm gonna hold it over the plate. What do you think is going to happen to the salt on the plate? Think about it for a second. I'm rubbing on my hair, trying to build up some static electricity, making my hair look really nice. Now I'm going to take the balloon and hold it over the salt I have on the plate. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Let me try rubbing it again, making that static electricity all over the balloon. Try it again. I can see I have static electricity. Put it over the plate this time. 
Nothing's happening. You know what, boys and girls? I'm getting a little frustrated. This experiment isn't working. It's getting too hard. Should I just give up? Hmm. Doesn't sound like what I just read in the book. I can do hard things. Now, I know sometimes this experiment doesn't work when there's too much moisture in there, and it did just rain. So you know what? I'm going to try to change the experiment a little bit. I'm going to put some pepper on top of the salt. Let's see if that helps. Okay, I'm going to rub the balloon on my head again. I have static electricity. Let's see if it Okay, works. here's my plate with salt and pepper. Let's lower the balloon and see what happens. Whoa, look at that. What is happening? There's salt and pepper all over the balloon. Wow, can you believe the experiment finally worked? I didn't give up. I can do hard things. Now you might be asking yourself, is it magic? How does it work? Nope, it's science. What happens is there are positive and negative charges on the balloon and in the salt and pepper. Now when I rub it on my hair, it takes off some of the charges and they like to have the same amount of positive and negative. It likes to be equal. So when I rub some off, they want to be equal again. So some of the charges from the salt and pepper jump to the balloon to even it out or make it equal. Can you try it at home? What else could you do it with? Maybe some dirt, something else? Show me what you can do at home. Well, I had so much fun reading I Can Do Hard Things and our static electricity experiment. We have one more thing to do to answer the riddle. Why can't Cinderella play soccer? Well, it's because she's always running away from the ball. <laughs> well, I want you to think about hard things and know that you can do whatever you put your mind to because you're amazing. And I love each and every one of you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.